Vladimir R. Emek is a Czech politician and diplomat as well as a former cosmonaut and military pilot. He flew aboard Soyuz 28 from 2 to 10 March 1978, becoming the first Czechoslovak in space, and the only Czech in space. As the first cosmonaut from a country other than the Soviet Union or the United States, and with the entry of the Czech Republic into the European Union, Remek is considered to be the first astronaut from the European Union. Remek was a member of the European Parliament between 2004 and 2013, and, since 2014, has been the Czech ambassador to Russia. Remek was born on 26 September 1948 in the city of Aumlaut SK till the copyright Buda Jovis. He spent two years studying at the observatory in Kravahora. No, between 1962 and 1964. Remek was influenced by his father, Joseph Remek, himself a military pilot. Remek was an active member both in the Pioneers and the Czechoslovak Union of Youth. He studied mathematics and physics at middle school in a umlaute tilde inverted exclamation point Slav, where he earned awards in track running the 400 meter, 800 meter and 1,500 meter events. Remek graduated in 1966, and proceeded to VYA inverted exclamation point A inverted exclamation point A tilde rally TECKA tilde copyright to A umlaut ILIA inverted exclamation point A, an aviation school in KOA inverted exclamation point ICE where he trained in an Aero L-29 Delphi Henry Met graduated in 1970, and was commissioned as a lieutenant in the Czechoslovak Air Force. Remek served as a fighter pilot, flying MiG-21s in the 1st Fighter Air Regiment. In the 1970s Remek married his first wife, Czech actress Harna Davi Dovia Tilda inverted exclamation point the daughter of politician V.A. Tilda inverted exclamation point Clav David. They had a daughter together, Anna, in 1980. He had a second daughter, Jana, three years after the first, with his second wife, also called Jana. From 1972 to 1976, Remek studied at the Gagarin Air Force Academy. Upon his return to Czechoslovakia in 1976, he was promoted to captain, and appointed deputy commander of his fighter regiment, after which Remek went back to Russia, to train for the Soviet-led space program. Following his return from space in March 1978, Remek spent time in the Czechoslovak People's Army staff as the deputy director of the Flight Research Institute in Prague. In 1986, Remek became the deputy commander of a flight division based in a umlaute tilde inverted exclamation point Slav. In 1988 he graduated from Voroshilov Staff Academy of Soviet Air Force, and was appointed to his highest command, as deputy of the 2nd Air Defense Division stationed in Moravia. Following the Velvet Revolution in 1989, Remek was relegated to a role as director of the Museum for Aviation and Astronautics in Prague. Following his retirement from the Air Force in 1995, Remek represented Czech firm Cizerd Strachanis and joint venture Xar Turbogaz in Moscow. Remek joined the Intercosmos program in 1976. His backup was Oldrich Pellere Tilder inverted exclamation point K. The other Czechoslovak cosmonaut selected to participate with the program. During the flight, Remek experimented with the crystal furnace on board the capsule. The mission, coinciding with the 30th anniversary of the Soviet back 1948 Czechoslovak coup de till the copyright act, and including Remek, the son of a Czech mother and Slovak father, had propaganda value in stressing Czechoslovak Soviet cooperation. Remek himself has not denied this, although he retains pride in his voyage regardless of the circumstances. He became the first cosmonaut from a country other than the Soviet Union or the United States, and with the entry of the Czech Republic into the European Union, Remek is considered to be the first astronaut from the European Union. After Remek's March 1978 flight, 
He was celebrated in his home country with a series of receptions at factories and other civil workplaces. He was also recognized at a ceremony at Prague Castle as a guest of GUSDA tilde inverted exclamation point VHUSA tilde inverted exclamation point K, then the General Secretary of the Communist Party of Czechoslovakia. On 16 March, Remek and Alexei Gubarev, the other member of the crew, were awarded the Medal Hero of the Soviet Union. Czechoslovak reaction to Remek's flight included comments about the media's inundation focused on Remek and the fact that he was only able to journey with a Soviet cosmonaut, as if Remek needed a minder. One joke went. Why didn't the Soviets send up two Czechoslovak cosmonauts? Because they would have landed in West Germany. Remek himself joked that his Soviet counterpart would slap Remek's hands off of controls if he touched anything without permission. French astronaut Jean-Loup Chra told the copyright he experienced the same behavior on board Soyuz TM-7 in 1988.